We just had the most amazing 03 comeback on Chalette that we've ever had. And this was a full stack of all Xbox versus all PlayStation players to truly decide the fate of the console wars. Now we started on attack and as I've already said, it didn't go very well. We did our standard triple sound cover rush with the Kaivi Lion and Amaru to get a person inside quickly. And I'm not lying when I say this works about 90% of the time, but it didn't that round and we ended up losing. And that's when we noticed we were going against extremely low ping players. So our work was gonna be cut out for us. And even though I was able to pick up four kills in the second round, they ended up having enough C4 to hold off the plant. Now the third round was an awkward kitchen push that we just couldn't pull off. And my shot really wasn't helping anybody here. But defense is where our team shines. So we wanted to really throw them off. So we did a full top coverage of kitchen. So we ended up bringing a castle rook and lesion upstairs to blow out the hatch and floor. And I guess this really pissed them off because they brought their entire team up there after us. Now we held up for a decent amount of time and I was able to actually swing out to cover while picking up two kills. And from there, I did decide I would go ahead and drop down to save my life for the retake. I also almost picked up a really good double kill here, but barely missed Ash, which I did end up picking up the kill on her just a few moments later, right before Fuse got me. So we won that round and we knew we needed to pull off the super room setup to get another confusing win. This is our signature move that 60% of the time it works every time. And if you wanna hear the full setup, make sure to go check out that dedicated video. But anyways, I went ahead and full roamed with Jaeger this round. And then I went extremely passive for the rest of the round until they were forced to push in and try to plant. I ended up knocking the diffuser down when I went for my flank and it was basically a win from there. Now to put us into overtime, we went with heavy traps and characters to slow down a rush because we knew they had gun skill and ping advantage on their side and it ended up working out really well. We slowed them down enough to win the round solely based on time, which brought us to our first nice. overtime round where I did end up having some bad timing on a flashbang, but we had great cams out to watch, which picked us up two free kills and then my teammates were able to clutch out the rest. We did end up losing our OT defense round, but it was down to double overtime and we were attacking the kitchen again. I quickly took over the upstairs so we could ram and fuse everything, but as you can see, that didn't really work out for us. So we were now in a 3v5 situation, but ended up with a completely random kill downstairs, and our cams got us another freebie in the lobby. We were able to get a hole in the big lobby wall, but other than that, they were completely boarded up. But that actually ended up being the reason we won the round. It forced our ram to rotate back upstairs and pray that she could get an angle, and somehow with less than two seconds on the clock, she was able to pick up the last kill of the round. So even though ping is king, yes. strategy and teamwork oh God, goes a long God. way. Thanks as always for watching. Let me know down in the comments if you like these slightly longer full gameplay videos and if you would want to see yeah, a few more yeah, of them. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.